Okay, welcome to this part of this PHP tutorial series. Um, the reason this part is um, following part four um, is that basically I got to the end of the, I uploaded all the videos and realized I'd forgotten to do the logout page. So, whoops. Um, the part I referred to as the next part in the previous tutorial um, is the part following this video. Um, I think it'll still work. I don't want to record it all again, or edit any videos, or upload any more videos. So yeah, this will be like five minutes long, so honestly, I have to, okay, this is the first video that um, I'm going to upload that I have said is about five minutes long, and may even be less. Um, the logout page is incredibly simple, so I'm just going to make this about that page. Um, I also demonstrate this in the what will be part six uh, of this series. Uh, basically, um, like the other pages uh, included the init file, this one will not do that. Um, the reason for this is that we don't want it to require a login or any of the other functionality that the init file provides. All we want to do is destroy the session and just move on. Um, so what we're going to do is first start the session sort of manually. Not start session. Session start like so. Um, and then what we're going to do is set the session variable because remember, like we had session username um, what we need to do is remove this basically so what we can do is unset that like so um, but what we are going to do instead uh, of that is set the actual session variable so this equal to an empty array what that will do is remove everything from the session it'll set the session back to its default empty array um, so yeah, just in case we ever have to add any more session data we don't want to leave things lying around so what we're going to do is session equals array like that and then we're just going to do session destroy what the session destroy function does as far as, far as I know anyway is removes the cookie pretty much um, I don't think it actually deletes the session file hmm. Okay, sorry, uh, I don't think it actually deletes the session file. I think it just removes the cookie. So, you can check on that. I might be wrong. Please don't tell me about it if I am. Um, so, yeah, once we've destroyed the session and emptied the session, um, we're just going to uh, redirect the user back to the index of the site. In this case, for me, it was protected. For you, it'll probably be index, or just you could just do a slash. So, I'm just going to do header location. Uh, texted.php. Uh, the reason we don't need to call die after this is because it's at the end of the script anyway. So calling die won't prevent any more code being executed. So we're just going to leave that out. Uh, so yeah, that is actually the end of this video. Um, I won't demonstrate it because I do demonstrate it in part 6, which used to be part 5, which is the video I mean when I say next part in part 4. Oh, this is so confusing. I'm so sorry. Um, so yeah, that is not the end, but this is the last video I'm recording. I've confused myself. I think it'll make more sense as you follow it through, to be honest. I should stop saying about how confusing it is. Okay, thanks for watching. Enjoy me in the previous part, which is the next part. For you, but not for me.